What's going on, doll fans? It is your boy Dylan, and uh, I just got a couple quick things to let you know about some roster moves that were made today, uh, which unfortunately is not totally surprising. Um, so to get into it, um, the Dolphins have officially placed wide receiver Jakeem Grant on injured reserve. So there goes another uh, person to injured reserve, another wide receiver, another offensive weapon. And so now more shuffling has to be done. Uh, Isaiah Ford was promoted from the practice squad to the active roster in a corresponding move and then wide receiver from Purdue Terry Wright was signed to the practice squad to replace Isaiah Ford so yeah um, there's that uh, I mean that's really about it um, also Zach Thomas is one of the finalists or semi-finalists rather for the 2020 Hall of Fame so hopefully he doesn't get snubbed again uh, that would be great. Um, aside from that, though, I mean, that's that's really about it. Uh, so just wanted to get out that information to you guys. Um, unfortunately, Jakeem Grant is now on injured reserve. And we still have to wait to see what's going on with Albert Wilson. Apparently, he suffered some sort of rib, in, rib injury. Um, you know, I don't know, man. I mean, just real quick, you know, we play the, the Philadelphia Eagles. They're 5-6 and six this next game. Um, you know, it's a home game for us. And then we play, you know, the Jets and then the Giants and then the Bengals and then the Patriots. Um, you know, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm just hoping that we can pull out at least another couple wins. I'm, I'm kind of banking on the Cincinnati and the Giants games. I mean, even if we lose, you know, against Philly and the, and the Jets and the Patriots, I mean, at least that would give us four wins, which would be great. And certainly, you know, um, you know, would exceed my expectations for for this year uh but that's no well certainly not enough credit to the to the front office and coaching staff right so right because i'm i'm fair right so <clears throat> they have um you know, this front office and coaching staff has had some good pickups, right? Like Vince Beagle is still a bright spot. You know, he's not spectacular. He's playing all right, but he is a potential bright spot for the future, right? So they do have some some good things, but all of the, you know, the systemic teardown and, you know, the coaches' actions on the field with, you know, timeouts and challenges, play calls, uh, personnel usage, so on and so forth, right? Like all of that stuff adds up to vastly outweigh any of the good that they've done um, or any of the positive credit, at least from my perspective. I mean, a lot of it seems blatantly obvious to me, but apparently, you know, 70 plus percent of the fan base is still, uh, you know, on board with what this regime is doing and the direction that we're going. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, but, you know, as long as as long as the data, I mean, regardless, you know, m my job is to present you guys with the data and the facts. It just so happens that they overwhelmingly support the things that I have to say and the perspectives that I have. But that's because <clears throat> the perspectives I have are based off of the facts and data. Full context. I don't leave anything out. So on and so forth. So, um, yeah, there's that. Also, too, real quick, I just wanted to note that, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I just, <clears throat> look, I, at the end of the day, we obviously all want the Dolphins to do well, but we want... I personally, you know, I want it to be done right, and I, I don't, I don't think that this whole, you know, this whole tanking process, you know, blah blah blah, you know, we can argue over semantics over what it is, you know, tanking, rebuilding, blah blah blah. It's a tank, and it's obvious, and 
it's from top down and I, I think it's gonna be a massive failure and I think it's just gonna be a, a, a you know another few several years whatever it is of wasted time Brian Flores is not even gonna have an opportunity to get things straightened out and get us on a path to sustained success because the average coach under Steven Ross is three and a half years and I mean if you look at the best example we have for a team who's tanked you know officially had tanked and so on and so forth the best option you have is the Browns and they're still several they're four years into it and they're still several years away from being able to you know prove that they can have maintained success let alone achieve it even for the first time right so and i mean what does that mean they gotta first have a winning season which they still haven't had they could end up having it right um based off of their current record because they're what five and six so they could still have a winning season um but you know then you got to make it to the playoffs then you got to make it to the playoffs consistently so on so forth and that's the goal you, you know that they're supposedly working towards we're supposedly working towards is that sustained success and i mean you know anyway like i said i've laid out you know all of my concerns the the fact that i don't trust this regime to draft properly or to prioritize properly we already know that they're going to spend big in free agency splashy free agent signings big contracts we already know that they're going to go for a quarterback in the first round um you know and then with all of the rest of the decisions that they've made with the possibility or, or with the with the data that we have you know knowing that steven ross gets impatient and only has you know gives coaches three and a half years i mean it's it's pretty like if you look at his coaches it's pretty uh like he's pretty on point with that like almost every single coach three and a half years three and a half years three and a half years so and then again when you look at the browns our closest example to success a, a successful tanking team in the nfl isn't even that yet so anyway that's all i got for you guys i do want to keep this short uh keep it under eight minutes as it's gotten to right now about seven and a half so i'm gonna get up out of here i hope you guys enjoy my videos and my perspective if you do make sure you hit the subscribe button make sure you hit the like button make sure you hit the bell if you want to get the alerts share my channel and my videos with your friends and family leave your questions comments and concerns down in the comment section and of course as always make sure you follow me on twitter at dylan tartaro and with that i am out i'll see y'all soon fins up